Now this next part of the question, we're given f of x equals 1 over x plus 1 and asked to find the inverse function. So to do this, what I would suggest you do is you say let x equal and wherever you see an x in here, replace it with a y. So we have 1 over y plus 1. Now what we need to do next is just rearrange this to make y the subject. So by multiplying both sides by y plus 1, we therefore have x times y plus 1 equals 1. Expanding the brackets gives xy plus x equals 1. And then if I subtract x from both sides, we have xy equals 1 minus x and then dividing both sides by x gives y as 1 minus x all divided by x. And when you get to that part all we do is we now replace the y with the inverse function that's f to the minus 1 of x equals 1 minus x over x. And so here we have the inverse function. And we're also asked to find the domain or write down the domain of this function. And this is very easy because what it relies on is that the domain of this function is the range of the original function f of x. Let me explain. Okay. If we just bring back the graph okay, of y equals f of x, that was 1 over x plus 1, remember it had a domain of x greater than 3. Now when you do the inverse of a function, it is always a reflection in the line y equals x. So if I was to reflect this graph in y equals x, it would look something like this and this would be the inverse function. Now the domain for the inverse function that's from here to here on the x-axis okay, corresponds to the range of f of x. So we saw that this went from 0 up to a quarter in an earlier part to this question and so therefore this must go from 0 to a quarter in this direction. So therefore the domain of the inverse function of x must be such that x goes between 0 and a quarter. And that brings us to the end then of this part of the question.